thought once we got up four to nothing, we'd relax and you know and, and play a little bit. Uh, not like we had the whole game, but uh, you see nerves kind of set in when uh, we got a couple runners on, and it, you know. I guess we actually brought the tie-in run of the play. Yeah. So, you know, Connor made that bad throw, and then Dylan made a bad choice of not just taking the obvious out. So, hopefully, we learn from that when we move on to our next game. Pretty uncharacteristic, too, for that to see that of these guys. It is, but you know what? When you get in these tournament games, uh, you know, pressure does funny things to kids. And uh, you know, the last few years, I don't know if you'd call us the favorite. So this year, we're the favorite. We're supposed to win these games. So I think that adds pressure to everything you're trying to do. You scraped together uh, four runs tonight off of a couple pretty good pitchers. Yeah, we did. You know, uh, Dylan got it. Got to start off right with the, the base hit. The right fielder kind of bobbled. He went to second, and uh, we were still in third, and he you know, threw it away. So yeah. that was big to get that first run. And then, you know, really the biggest play of the, of the game, I think, is when we were up two to nothing, when we were actually going to run a safety squeeze with Dylan, and the catcher missed the ball. Mm -hmm. So that you know, one to nothing. You're, uh, as you can see at the end of the game, four to nothing was was kind of scary. So just getting two seemed to relax us. So. Really good outing for Cheek. Yeah, it was. It, you know, he's been in the middle of the year. He wasn't throwing very well. And we, we talked about getting ready. Uh, you know, he had. A, I guess his really bad outing was against St. Albert, where he gave up five runs in the first two innings. And Josh had a, a habit of coming. Coming out of the bullpen, you know, and not being ready to pitch. I mean, his ball was up, and so we talked about him, you know, working a little harder in the bullpen to get ready, ready, and to, you know, to uh, try to keep the ball down early in the game. And he had a really good outing against Dallas Center, and even a better one against AL, and then saved his best for the night against uh, uh, Green County because he actually did throw a uh, no hitter because yeah. that first play wasn't there. Did you, I remember Zach throwing a one hitter against Denison in the sub state game. Do you remember any no hitters in this I, type of a? No, I don't. So it was a heck of a game by Josh. And, uh, you know, we really played good defense tonight. I mean, Dylan made some spectacular plays, and, you know, things kind of fell apart there in the seventh. But uh, we were able to gain our composure and, you know, hang on for the win. What's it say about Cheek? Just that he can maybe not have his best year, but when this tournament time rolls around, he's ready to go. and and pitch for you. Well, you know, there was some discussion, and he doesn't have the best numbers on his staff, but, you know, just thinking back, he's won two sub-state, uh, I mean, two district final games for us. He's won two semi-final state games mm -hmm. for us where he stood on the mound, and uh, he doesn't get rattled. The pressure doesn't seem to get to him, so, you know, we knew we had to go to him tonight. Your offense got on track there for your seven hits in the fifth. Is that just a matter of seeing the pitcher a couple times? You know, I, I think a little bit. You know, the, um, the, the heat hit the cheek head down there is, you know, that kind of a looping line drive down the right field line got it started. And, you know, Nick Foss has been struggling a little bit, and he finally squared up a ball. But, uh, yeah, it just looked like we were not, you know, uh, we just couldn't string things together tonight. It just seemed like we, you know, we left, I think we left six runners on in the first two innings. and. A lot of times that'll come back to bite you. And, uh, you know, I guess we just, uh, you know, would grind out batch just well enough to get the win on it. A little, little bit about Dylan's run in the first inning. I mean, that was vintage Dylan Sears there. A single out there, the guy bobbles it for a split right. second, he gets two. Right. Ball gets a couple feet away, gets down here, and then the overthrow, he's in. Yeah, you know, he, he makes us go. You know, when he gets on base, uh, good things are going to happen. And that, that was great, a great way to start the ball game because. You know, Wilkins. Wilkins one of the better arms we've seen this year, and, and uh, you know you got to give him credit. And I, I thought, uh, you know, Green County played pretty good defense behind yeah. him, except for you know a couple plays there. But uh, yeah, it was getting pretty scary there uh, going into the fifth inning. Having only needed one pitcher tonight, how well does that set you up for Wednesday? Well, it helps a lot. You know, we have everybody eligible but Josh, and uh, you know, so uh, we have. Uh, our ace, Brett Sears, ready to go, and our number, you'd say three, uh, Kyle Smiths, and we haven't used our, you know, Connor Brook, who we kind of consider our closer, so we got those three guys ready to go.